I've just finished watching a golf tournament and it got me thinking, how good is good? Because we watch the tournaments week in, week out, and we see some amazing performances and we actually think that that is normal. So in this video, I'm going to show you that it all is not quite as it seems and we'll find out what good really is. Stay tuned. So how good are the PGA Tour players? It's something that we all think about and we think they're amazing and they are amazing. The problem is when we watch golf on TV, we're actually looking at the very best players in the world and the very best of those players on their game on that day. So final round, we're seeing people that are in their best possible uh, condition and form playing amazing shots. Coupled with that, we're actually seeing an editor's point of view or a producer's point of view of what's going on. So we tend to see all of the freak shots. It's the editor's cut or the producer's cut, for want of a better word. We may not see the person in the final group that's actually shooting four over that day. And we think that these amazing shots are normal. In actual fact, they're fantastic, but it's not normal. I think we need to look at what averages are. And if we look at what the averages are, it gives us a better understanding of what normal. Of course, when they're performing incredibly well, like we see on the, on the Sunday uh, final round, yeah, they're performing unbelievably well. That's why they win, or that's why they, they are close to winning. So I've made, made some stats, which I've grabbed from the PGA Tour website, and I've put them on an, on an Excel spreadsheet. So the first question I'm going to ask you is that from 100 to 125 yards from the flag, what do you think the average tour player hits in, in, in terms of proximity to the hole? How close do you think they get it? So I want you to think about it, 100 to 125, what do you think the average PGA Tour player hits in, in relation to how far he finishes from the hole? Well, the correct answer is actually 19 feet, 11 inches. 19 feet, 11 inches, isn't that incredible? So that's the tour average. Of course, the, uh, the category leader for that category is 15 foot, three inches. And this is all based on 2016 PGA Tour stats. So yeah, the best is really good, but the average tour player is nowhere near as good as the average as, as the category leader. So the average tour player, 19 foot, 11 inches. Now let's go down and go to 75 to 100 yards out from the green, and all of these are from the fairway. So what do you think the average tour player, how close do they hit it from 75 to 100 yards? Have a think about it. You know, a lot of people say five feet, 10 feet, something along those, those lines. I have a, a, a younger guy that if he doesn't hit it within 10 foot from there, he's almost throwing the club and absolutely shattered. You know, you're like, I'm never gonna make it hitting it that close. The average tool player hits it to 17 foot four inches. That's right, 17 foot four inches. Then we move down to from 50 to 75 yards. So we're getting much closer to the green. What do you think the average proximity to the hole is from that distance, 50 to 75 yards? The tour average is actually 15 feet, 10 inches. So that's still a lot. That's more than a, you know, well more than a flag stick. Two flag sticks nearly. So uh, yeah, they're not quite as good as we think they are. So we'll get closer again. We go to 30 yards from the hole. So from 30 yards, the average to a distance is nine foot, five inches. Nine foot, five inches. That's uh, nowhere near as close as I thought. It surprised me. So we'll move down from 10 to 20 yards. So we're getting much closer. Even from 10 to 20 yards, the average PGA Tour player hits the ball six foot, 11 inches from the hole. Yeah, six foot, 11 inches. And the final one here, we, uh, we go from less than 10 yards. The average is three foot, six inches. So that's still, you know, 
a fair distance from the hole, and that's the average from just under 10 yards, 10 paces from the hole, I would have thought it was better than that, but once again, it's not quite better and not quite as good as what we thought. So what can we learn from this? Well, don't compare yourself to the myth of how good we think we should be. Actually start measuring. Nothing wrong with measuring, make a little guess. See what distance you hit the ball from those. You can, as you're playing, you can just write it on the back of the scorecard. Do it for a month and see what your average is, you know, from within those ranges and see how you compare. And of course, you won't compare as, as well, um, or you won't be as good as the PGA Tour player, but that gives you an opportunity. If you can get closer to them, you will be improving your score and lowering your handicap. So I found this really interesting, and we'll do the same next week with putting. So I hope you've enjoyed it. So how can we learn from this? Well, I think if you can keep your own stats, and you can do it over a period of a month, just approximation is fine. From those key distances, track on the back of a scorecard what your average distance is to the pin from there, and then at the end of the month, see how they stack up against the PGA Tour player. They're going to be nowhere near the PGA Tour player, but that then presents you with an opportunity. Speak to your golf professional, see if you can work out how to hit the ball a little closer to the hole, maybe improve your, your technique, improve the club selection, which has a lot to do with it as well, and uh, I'm sure you'll improve your golf. What was your biggest surprise from these numbers? Uh, I'd love to hear from you. You can contact me via email at brian at thegolfdoctor.com.au or you can uh, send me a message on Twitter at Fitzy Golf Pro. I'd love to hear what you thought. Thank you for letting me help you with your golf. I'm Brian Fitzgerald, the Golf Doctor. And if you like my videos, you can click on the round avatar down the bottom there and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way you can get the first, be notified when the video gets uploaded each week. You can uh, check out more information on my Facebook page or my Twitter feed. And you can also sign up to my electronic newsletter at thegolfdoctor.com.au